Hey guys, Lava64 here, and today I have another video for y'all guys. So I might be doing it's more like a, not really an in depth, but kind of like a um, kind of like an understanding of what we got here. Okay, so uh, yeah, we're gonna be talking about the new game, FNAF game, Sister Location. I just wanted to talk about it, and I thought I should do a video about it. And there's a lot of stuff going on right now. So I did an older video called Sister Location. It has the same picture as you can see right here. And I was just talking about it. But I have another video for y'all guys where I'll be... This video right now, uh, it looks like I'm going to talk about it again. I'm sort of going to talk about it. But I'm mostly going to be talking about the new trailer that just came out. or just, It came out two days ago. And I'm going to do a video. I've been super busy. Like, I've actually had a tight schedule recently. So it's been kind of hard for me to do re videos. But I'm doing them as best as I possibly can. And best time. And, you know, I, it takes a lot of work to do these videos. So I just hope y'all appreciate them. And hope you'll like them as well. But, yeah, guys. Uh, what we're going to do is talk about the new FNAF game trailer. It just it, it came out two days ago <laughs> but I, I mean I saw it yesterday I should have done reaction but I just saw it yesterday oh my gosh I've only seen the trailer once but this trail I, I, I realize there's a lot of stuff this game is going to reveal about all the other games I mean first off I we need to understand it's going to be underground uh, I will, I'll give you all a glimpse of the uh, trailer right now but it's going to be underground. It looks like you're going to be working underground. Very similar concept. But it looks a lot like it's going to be. A, it looks like it's going to be a lot of gamer. A lot of the FNAF community wanted something different. Wanted a different type of FNAF game. And we're hoping that this game is going to be like that. We're hoping this game is going to be very different and very very strange and creepy at the same time just like when the first one came out there was nothing really like that at the time only only few things i mean there really wasn't anything similar to that other than horror genres in general there really wasn't that was its first that was a unique game but all the other ones weren't as unique the my favorite game out of all of them was the second one because you could actually it had way more characters and it was made way more challenging. The third one was mm, similar to the rest, but more comp kind of complicated at a different kind of level. But it, it was still kind of similar. And then the fourth one kind of was a disappointment to me. I A lot of people liked it, but it was a little bit of a disappointment to me because... A lot of people were expecting something different, and it was, people can say, oh, well, you're in a house, and that's different. Well, maybe, but it wasn't, it was still, it's like, it's like saying you're playing a game like Call of Duty, right? People, the new Infinite Warfare trailer just came out, uh, and, uh, I just wanted to tell y'all about this guy. He released a trailer about it, uh, uh, one, one of my friends, he released a trailer about it. I think you should check out his video. But uh, his name, his channel name is G Nitro Gaming, and I highly recommend you recommend you check out his channel. He's a really cool guy, and uh, I've talked to him a few times. He's kind of cool, and I think you should check out his channel right now. And uh, but yeah, he has a video talking about the Infinite uh, Call of Duty Warfare trailer. Now we're not talking about this game, but I was giving an example that you can. And that the new trailer that came out for the game, people are hoping it was an older version, and it was more of a newer ver. It was more of a futuristic more, and they didn't want that. They wanted a you know a older, hoping for an older type of game, and they just didn't give that to them. So it's kind of similar here in the FNAF community. We're kind of one aiming towards that, you know, maybe it's going to be a little more different or unique or go back to the older times or something different. You know what I mean? And and I, I don't know if I can say it is, but I don't know if I can say it's not going to be. It might be, it might be completely different, and it might be very similar, and just another version that just looks a little different. I don't know, but I was looking into the trailer, and it does, look, it does look different. So I'm gonna show y'all a glimpse of the trailer right now.
Hey guys, so I just wanted to talk about this. Now, you now have seen the trailer. Maybe you saw it before, but I just gave you basically the whole trailer. I just showed you the whole trailer, and it does look pretty cool. Now, if you, if the audio, if you listen to the audio, it's saying don't, it sounds like it's saying something like don't turn against us, and apparently you're underground, like I said, you're underground in a base, and if you look at some of the clips, it looks like you're like running through tunnels and I mean the new animatronics in this game look freaking amazing I'm really excited there's also a new animatronic that's like a pup a ballerina I think and it's talking about where the memories I mean I mean all this looks crazy but like I said maybe this is gonna be free roam because because you can go through tunnels I mean maybe that's just for the trailer there's so many things and it says it talks about and secrets don't keep and I I'm just thinking it's showing four characters but you know Scott Cotton always has one behind his back but it's showing basically it's showing I'll, I'll pause it right here it's showing um let's go back a little bit it is showing ballerina it's showing the ballerina it's showing Freddy and it's showing the girl lastly the the sister location or whatever something about her and I just wanted to talk about the ballerina, the foxy. So the ballerina is new, but what I'm thinking about, guys. Okay, this is just a uh, this is just a opinion or this is just a theory. But the ballerina is kind of something like a puppet. You know, you get out of those little ballerina boxes, right? Remember the puppet from FNAF 2 and FNAF 3? I'm thinking about maybe there, maybe that's like the female version. I don't know. It's really strange. It really is. Then we got uh then we got Freddy some strange these are all by the way really like different. Like th like Freddy and Foxy are the toy versions. But the ballerina it's more like a toy version but purple and like it's like a girl version of Five Nights at Freddy's. And as you see her face right here. And she just looks like a female version of Freddy, but like, I don't know. It's re she looks really creepy as well. May I just point out, uh, Scott Cawthon did a really good job on making this person terrifying. So be ready. This person is not going to be uh, very good in the game. And I forgot to show you on the trailer. There's a, a jump scare right here. As you can see, uh, th that's the jump scare. And it looks like sh her, her face is popping up with metal. If we, if we actually slow-mo that, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, if we go to speed, and we slow-mo it. As you can see, when you look at the, if you look at the video, her whole, her whole face pops up. Like, it's really strange. Like that. Her whole face pops up. And it's, it's really strange to see her whole body, like her whole face just pop out of nowhere. And we're, as you can see, that's her, that's her original, original, uh, face, what, that, what her real face looks like, just covered against. And this is obviously people, uh, 8-Bit Gaming and other people have covered 
The newer ones are not going to be friendly. They're not going to be kid friendly. Just like in FNAF 4 when we were looking at those nightmare bodies and stuff. We knew that those were not meant for kids and happiness. Those were nightmare versions. But these are kind of similar if you look in the inside parts. They're very similar to the nightmare animatronics. Just toy on the outside. So more of a toysy kind of kind of look to it and it's very it's very it gets starts getting very in-depth if you get far into the trailer uh, there's many parts where you're here and you see balloon there's this little balloon boy figure which is also very strange if you look at the top he's just sitting there which is very mind me very myself very creepy indeed um, you're it looks like you're in this room too as well and there's like a little ballerina saying dance and you're just here and there's like a doors here it looks like there's doors as well and it looks like there's a window like in FNAF 3 so we'll be having that window looks like we have some buttons I, I think this will be similar to the FNAF games but I think it's going to be a different I think we're gonna have to do different tasks and it's gonna be kinda harder probably I mean maybe it's gonna be free room you can walk around press buttons you know it may I don't know it, it looks it looks like it looks like you'd be able to walk around but I just want to point this out and here uh, as you can see there's a glimpse of you walking through a tunnel as you can see right here you're, you're you turn on your flashlight it looks like you have a few things uh, there you see something very creepy as well but there's a point at here where there's like a tunnel point where you're walking through a tunnel. I don't know. It's really, it might, I think this one might be free roam. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to have to end the video very soon, guys. I just wanted to show you all this trailer and in-depth, kind of in-depth talking about what this game might be about and what it means. And maybe I'll do another video about it because... I don't want to do too long of a video for y'all guys, but yeah, uh, I, I hope y'all, I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, please burn that like button, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions or answering, I will please comment down below, and I will, and I'd be happy to answer them for you. Um, and yeah, tell me what y'all guys think of this game. What do y'all think it's going to be about? What do you think it's when? Do you think the time's gonna be? It kind of looks futuristic to me, so I think it's gonna be in the year near 2025 or something like that. But you never know. Uh, it's definitely not in the past. There's definitely not that kind of, you know, power, that kind of robotics in that kind of period of time. So it's definitely going to be in the future or present. But yeah, I just wanted to show you all this, guys, and thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.